Hello, lovely people. It is I. Um. Anyways, today I'm gonna try to busk for the first time in a year and a half. No, for the first time in like almost three years actually. But this one's important because it's post COVID. Um, well, I mean, COVID is still happening. But I am recently vaccinated and I got a train for GBB. So I'm gonna try busking and uh, practice and maybe make, make a little money. I got my vaccination card here. We'll see what happens. I might get stopped a bunch of times by the cops. Um, and the MTA might have some rules against people street, street performing still as of right now so but i'm gonna risk it we will see wish me luck Whew, what a beautiful day it's like 70 degrees out i should try to busk outside but it's really hard to busk outside in the city all the parks are you need you need some kind of you need a different permit to busk outside I might just stick with what I know. The subways are always good. But we'll see. It might be strict now. Now that we're still in the middle of a pandemic. So we'll see. We'll see. Space, so it's probably the safest place to do it. Looks like everything's open. This is Union Square. It's probably like the only act allowed. Being in a bubble. <laughs> Just want to show off my busking gear. Street Q, or what was it called? Q Street EX, something like that. This is the classic amp that I usually use. And this is the new stuff right here. Battery, rechargeable battery. Kind of the main reason why I wanted to busk. I want to see how uh, how long this battery lasted. Union Square busking session. Here we go. Turn down. <laughs> that sucks, but I'm not gonna turn down. <laughs> Either way, that was a success. 
I made like 30 bucks or something. Almost, almost four hours. Pretty tired. It was a good practice session. Uh, let's see if I can find a good spot to busk here. I really should just busk here because people are just chilling. And I could get like a nice crowd. In that mezzanine area, it's just like everyone's in, in a rush to just get to places. So they don't have time to just stop by and enjoy the music, you know? I know My goodness, there's a lot of pretty girls out here. Oh, see? See, I should do that. I should do that. Ooh. Just got home. Let's see how much we made. Let's see if it was all worth it. Is it worth risking our lives to go and perform in the streets? Three to four hours and this is how much I made. It doesn't look like a lot. This is... This is how I used to make money all the time. This was like the only way I made money. For like, I don't know, the first five, six years of my beatboxing career. This was it. This was the only way. And I did pretty well, you know. I had a cat. I was able to take care of him. Whole another living being, you know, buy its food and stuff. This doesn't look like a lot, but there's some tens and fives in here, so might be more than we think. But just felt good performing for people, even though they were kind of busy and in transit, en route to their next location. You know. They would stop by and watch for a little bit and hurry to their next location. But it was still cool. It felt good to be around people, make connections. went a lot better than I thought. I thought I thought the cops would be like, hey, you cannot do that. That, in, in this age, that is, there's no more busking allowed. <laughs> Gotta leave right now. Okay, I got one five and one 10, which is fine. Nine, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. 56. 56.50 total in three hours. You know what? Pretty fucking good. And this DJF7. Find me on YouTube. Let's check him out. Oh, DJ Elf. DJ Elf7. Seven. Here we go. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, TG of seven. Got him. Let's go. Let's go, DJ of seven. I can't hear you. Follow DJ Elf7. Gave me his business card today. He plays some smooth jazz every Saturday morning. Anyways. Yeah, that was my experience. Busking experience. This thing is a beast, by the way. Jackery. Check out how, mu how much battery it has left. 90%. It went through 10% in three hours. All right, I'm done. I'm done with today. Now, it is.
is time. Time for what you say? Let's see. Let's find out. Sounds good. Life. This is life being good right now. See that? Literally yeah. nothing. What? That looks amazing. It's like, oh, it's oh my good. god. I'm. Oh. So someone had Neil. Yeah, that's that's good. Oh man. Haters go hate. I cannot wait to perform though. Like after seeing that too, I was just like, damn, I can. I have control over how well I do. I just need to prepare and like I can make people be like, wow, you are. Oh yeah. Performing is is a gift. We get to do it. It's a gift for us and for others. We gotta give it to them. It's the type of uh, self-development that you can't do alone. You do it through the performance, the act. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cannot wait to eat some barbecue. Vegan barbecue. Imagine if I just drop this right now. That would be the saddest day of our lives. Oh my god, I think I might cry. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day. It's just been a beautiful day all day. I almost did drop it. Don't. Don't. All right, this is enough for the vlog today. Bye, we're gonna nourish. We're gonna nourish. If I could be somebody, yeah, I would be all the things I could think of. Now I can't be somebody. I know the 